Hi there, this is Lady Dreamers, and we are doing a crafting video. I am showing you how to do your own little bracelet keychains. What you need is some ribbon, and you cut it to size. You can either you know, take the ribbon and then put it around your wrist, and or you can just put it around your hand like so. And... You can get coordinating cording. For this, we're going to use the red and take the ribbon and you line that up and you make sure that you have the same amount. And then you take your handy dandy of scissors and you cut. And put this aside. And what you do is you attach it to here and you put a little like ring hook. I have these little Mickey head ones that I like to use. Got some from Amazon. Now I will tell you, they don't go on this as easily as the circle, but hey, we want to make this Disney-fied, don't we? So you just put this on here like this and you put this on on before or after you do your item now what I say is why it's a little bit harder is the ears part doesn't always like to go around so easily so determination <laughs> and perseverance gets you so you can go all around the ears part which, um, honestly, it's that way with your, uh, your keys, too. So if you want to use this for keys, you might want to put a uh, circle on hanging from this part uh, just so you don't have the frustration factor. Now, you could also use these to make kind of a wristlet uh, situation of a change purse or... Um, one of those little makeup bags because I've made uh, the Vera Bradley makeup bags I've made them into wristlets and that way they can hold my asthma medicine my uh, my phone my keys my wallet and for those times that you're going to be going somewhere real quick you got it so back to this part you can just clip this like this on there, but then it kind of uh, is loose. So I like to take the handy dandy glue gun and you basically just glue the top here and then you glue this on there. So this is where I should have my um, my gimbal balanced nicely so I can show you, uh, but still haven't figured that out. Uh, I can get it go up and down, but you guys don't want to see an up and down video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video and see if I can get it to uh, go the way so you can see what I'm doing as I'm gluing. Be right back. Okay, now you can see my shirt. I am wearing Lumiere and Coxwork dressed up as C3PO and R2D2. I saw this on T Republic and I had to get it. Um, I will put in the description uh, where I got it from on that company. So, here you go. You just like take your handy dandy glue gun and you just glue the top. And you don't glue the whole thing because then your uh, glue would be uh, all dry by the time you put this on here. And then you just put this right on top. Now, I will tell you, you... Uh, 
will get a little bit of uh, glue on your fingers and all, but the end result is really nice. And it toughens up your fingers. <laughs> so make sure that you have the ribbon on here even. And you just press down. And then it gets kind of hard. Uh, you will probably have some glue sticking out like right there. Uh, what you can do is you can either take your finger and rub it off. Or a little knife if you uh, don't have a, you have sensitive fingers. Since I've been doing all this glue stuff, uh, my fingers have gotten to be uh, kind of tough. And it actually has made it so that my um, Apple ID doesn't recognize my fingers anymore. <laughs> Believe it or not. So... Like I said, you go a little bit, bit by bit, and when you run out of your thing, you get another glue stick, put that in, and you can also put another little line in there, but the one thing I have noticed that when you are done this part, you'll see a lot of little gaps that you want to uh, fill in. Because I like to have it completely on there. And what I do is when I'm all done, I go in and I fill in those little gaps. Because that way it's less... Uh, glue seepage on the outside as you can see on that spot it does kind of leave a little mark uh, when the glue seeps out um, and sometimes you have a little piece of glue sticking up um, if you put a little bit too much glue on there and just flatten it all out and there and then it will basically be going from soft to hard and these little ends right here you can trim off with your scissors and if you sometimes trim off too closely then you have to trim off more because it sh uh, sheds again and so there you have it and actually no little bumps on there so and how you put it together is you put it in half like that and try to get the little glue thingies off and trim it a little bit more then you take this little thing you can get these from SD and you can get them from uh, Amazon. I got uh, most of this stuff, uh, save this, from SD. And then you just put it on top. And then you get this kind of guy. He basically goes on there. And this you need two hands full. What I like to do sometimes, and it doesn't do a very clean cut, but um, sometimes it's easier to just take it and scrimp it in the middle. And then you take it and you just clamp it down and make sure it's tight and all. And voila. Now this one is like a three-fingered one. Um, I was going to make it a little bit um, larger. And the ribbon, it depends on um, the size you make it. Depends on how much ribbon you have. Um, and sometimes if you can make 
two um, of these with one ribbon it's better to make it like the three fingered ones than the whole hand and um, for my little hands I can even do it like this so or you can do it like this and voila there you have your keychain so personalized and you can also um, draw on these put your name or or anything you can get any ribbon and I do like this stuff best um, I can put a link to uh, where I got the rubbing and this stuff on SD as well as the shirt because I love this shirt it's so durable and Thank you very much. So, that is our crafting for today. Uh, this is Lady Jamers saying, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends to subscribe to Lady Jamers' channel. And if you like to do this, you can do it yourself. A little bit of ribbon, a little bit of little bracket thing glue gun away you go you can also sew this um if you want instead of uh doing glue gun i find glue guns to be a little bit uh faster for me and have a wonderful day take care see you later